Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday, day after our first Friday of Team of the Group Stage and FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I want to talk about all the content, do a little bit of market review, and just talk about why this market is freaking crashing right now, man. I don't think this was as expected as much as we... The severity of the market crashing today, I do not think was expected as much as it actually did happen. I want to talk about some of these low prices. Does it bounce back at all? And kind of the outlook for today on Saturday and maybe through the weekend a little bit as well. Also kind of look over the content that we got yesterday on Friday for the uh, team of the group stage promotion. So let's do that first. Let's take a look at the squad. As you guys know, these are the cards that are in packs. EA did the business this time, man. They did the business. We were saying earlier this week, we weren't thinking the team was going to look that good. And here it is. Messi, De Bruyne, Sterling. They put big names in. Rashford and Bruno Fernandes. No Chelsea players getting in. Very interesting. No Chelsea players getting in. Uh, but EA did do the business and they juiced up this team. Of course, they need to sell packs, right? That was what their goal was with this team was to sell packs. And I think they achieved that goal today based on the players they put in. Diego Carlos is a nice guy off the bench. Diogo Jota, a card that people have been wanting to get a special item forever because of his ones to watch that now is upgraded to an 83. Teo Hernandez and Pepe as well. Pretty solid um, items in the Europa League. Road to the finals as well. Uh, so all, overall, pretty good card selection today. Some of the upgrades were kind of nice. Um, Holland, kind of a dope upgrade. Bruno Fernandez with the 80 pace is making this card really good looking. I think this guy is going to cause some waves. Messi looks a hunter away from being really insane as well with his second upgrade card of the year. And then Rashford again with his highest rated 87 rated card. Now, again, just to make sure that you guys are aware, these are not live items, okay? These are not live items. They are a permanent upgrade. EA tweeted it themselves today. I thought it was kind of funny that EA actually tweeted it here. They said... Um, in the tweet definition, they said, uh, permanent upgrades, highlighting some of the best performances from over the course of the UCL and the Europa League live group stages. I thought that was funny because they had to actually explain that out because so many people think that these are live items. They are not live items. So those are the cards and packs. We'll talk about their prices and all that jazz here in a second. Kingsley Coman objective out for seven days. Again, it's very similar to a lot of the objectives we've seen. Win seven matches with some Bundesliga players. Score eight goals. Assist and score. Assist eight. Assist in 15 separate matches. And then score eight finesse goals. So definitely grindable during the week this week if it's something you do want to do. It's a solid looking card um, on Kingsley Coman. Of course, the French Bundesliga links with the Bayern links as well. Uh, that's a solid looking card. Very pacey. Maybe a super sub at the very least. Uh, that's a solid card. A lot of people, I think, are, are going to do that objective this week. And then, of course, we have to talk about SBCs. Not just the um, Team of the Group Stage SBC content, but also some Player of the Month content with Joao Felix. We'll talk about that in a second. But this Lucas SBC is out right now. I think it's coming in at somewhere around 260,000 coins. I think this is just overpriced, in my opinion. I would love... For this to be worth it, man. I feel like it would be worth it if this Lucas card was centrally positioned and about 50k cheaper. If this was 200k, I feel like you could maybe say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Uh, but I just feel like it's too much. And we also got, we had Pepe who is now in packs. We had this Lucas Mora SBC. We we're getting a lot of right mids, all right? A lot of right mids are being released. I think EA kind of made that position scarce. And now they're getting giving out a lot of special cards in that possession week after week, right? With Rodrigo and uh, Sancho record breakers from last week. Now we have Pepe and we have Lucas Mora. And is there anybody in the team that's a right mid this week? I don't think so. We have a left mid and Sterling, left wing. Yeah, just Pepe and uh, Lucas Mora. Interesting. But um, yeah, this is SBC. I think it's a little bit expensive. I wish I could do it because I'm a Spurs fan, but I'm probably going to hold off on this one too, unless fodder gets cheaper later in the month. Uh, or later in the next week, I guess. This is out for six six days. I don't ex really expect myself to do this, um, although it might be the best card Lucas gets all year. But I use Lucas's gold. I have Rafinha's uh, you know, in form as a red, so I'm not a huge fan of that one. It's a bit overpriced. But this Joao Felix SBC is what everybody is talking about right now because this man got a plus three upgrade as expected, but EA did the business on this plus three Look at these stats, man. 90 finishing, 90 agility, 86 balance. This card looks absolutely cracked. Pros are saying that this card is like next level. 
everybody is saying this card is really, really good for the price. So I think a lot of people are going to start doing this SBC. A lot of people are planning to do it. 400,000 coins. It was a bit expensive earlier in the day today, but SBC fodder has dropped off a little bit. 400,000 coins to complete this SBC. I think a lot of people are going to end up doing it. Watch out for your Atletico Madrid links. Some of them are already inflated. You know, even moving this guy to like a center mid and linking him to uh, like Jimenez uh, and then Jimenez to Oblak. Jimenez is up today. Llorente is up today. I think Carrasco is up too. Your Portuguese links as well. Renato Sanchez, maybe watch some of those cards. Uh, even into the next week, this week, uh, possibly Ronaldo, maybe some Portuguese icons like Figo. This card is grabbing everybody's attention. A lot of people are going to do this. And at 400K, I really do not think it's that bad of value for this SBC. 400K for this card with the upgrade that they gave him is really not that bad. It was coming in at about 500K right away, and now it's down a little bit, maybe about 450 to 500. Now it's down. I think that SBC is not terrible value. So if that's a card you think you're going to be able to fit in your team and use for the next couple months in FIFA, that is a very possible thing that you could consider doing. Because I think that SBC is partially causing a lot of the panic today on the market. Now, obviously not that SBC alone is causing guys like Neymar to drop over 100,000 coins. Neymar is 800 and 60k right now this panic selling on this neymar card is unreal mbappe is down over 100,000 coins neymar is down over 100,000 coins and i just want to talk about why is this happening i think we might have figured it out what happened is think back to last week right all of the saved up packs for black friday all of the crazy amount of flash sbc packs that were tradable the huge number of quantity of packs that ea released during lightning rounds it's all kind of making sense to me now because I think what happened was is that all of those packs were open, right? Neymar's price was about a million coins last week. People uh, were thinking that, yes, we're going to see a market rise because of all these coins that are coming into the game um, during um, Black Friday, right? What happened was, yes, all those coins came into the game, but all those packs were open, right? We even saw it during the first lightning round and second lightning round live on stream last week. We saw Hyunmin Sun drop like eight thousand coins live on stream and then rebound right after that because people had to go buy their teams and you know all of that gold supply uh was just kind of invested in people bought teams they invested in these cards and all of that gold supply was still on the market because people aren't quick selling guys like sun guys like neymar that gold supply just brings those prices lower throughout the year because people move on to better cards that get upgraded shinier new dynamic image right special card designs these gold cards kind of lose their hype over the course of the year. That's why they're, they're on a general downward trend in the big picture. Um, and all the supply that happened on Black Friday with all the packs being opened, I think really came back to buy this today because we had good SBCs that came out. We had cheap players in packs. If you look at the squad of Team of the Group stages, like almost 90% of the squad is less than 500K. There's only Messi, De Bruyne, and uh, Bruno Fernandez that are over 500K with, without the, the inclusion of De Bruyne, the rest of the team is under 500,000 coins. And they're not just under 500K. So many of the cards that are in this team are 200,000 coins, right? You've got Sterling at 230, 240. You've got Trent at, one, at 150. Um, you've got Kimmich at 250. Papu Gomez under 200K. Diego Carlos, 290. Teo Hernandez, 200K. Pepe, 50K, right? A lot of these cards are very cheap. And the pack probabilities are very, very high. And this is exactly what happened last year as well. Um, now, before you ask the Europa League team of the tournament player, that percentage is lower just because there's only three cards you can pack technically. So that is a very high percentage for three cards. And then you have 9% chance for the rest of the however many other cards are the Champions League um, team of the group stages that are in this um, set of players. 9% is very, very high. I think Road to the Finals, for an example... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, out of these packs were 3%, 3%, and this is triple the amount of supply. And again, what happens is when people see these new and shiny items come out onto the market, they say, yo, I can sell my card and go pick up one of these cool new items, right? Like, like Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez is a card that is just taking this game by storm right now. Million coins right now at the moment. This guy, with all of the packs that were saved up, a lot of these cards were low in the first hour to hour and a half, and they rebounded significantly into the next two to three hours after the content drop on Friday because of all those saved up packs. 
people were like, yo, these cards are good looking. I want to try them out. I just opened packs. I got some coins. So they went out and bought them, right? Bruno was 950K. He went all the way up to 1.1 million coins. Other cards that made big time swings, right? Holland is a card that I'm trying to flip overnight tonight into, into Saturday. This guy was down at like 300,000 coins flat. Right now he's back to 320. He was 300K flat. He went all the way back up to 350, right? Crazy movements on these cards. Rashford. Rashford, just for to give you an example right here, Rashford's new card was 1.2 million coins, 1.25. He went all the way back to 145. Now he's back down to 1.3. A lot of these cards are starting to rebound a little bit into the overnight. We'll talk about that in a second. But I think it's a combination of the pack supply from the golds at Black Friday, the investing that happened, and then all this, the content that came out today that people wanted to do, right? If they were invested in some cards they thought were going to be rising in the next week or so, or even they bought part of players for their team, like Neymar and Mbappe or Ronaldo or other golds or even other informs, other special cards that have dropped today, some icons have even dropped. With the Jaw Felix SBC, the amount of hype that, that is getting, you know, even the Lucas SBC, people are doing that. And just the amount of cheap cards that are on this game with the new Team of the Group Stage promo, I really just think that's what's causing all the panic selling. And again, I talked about this in the video yesterday too. A lot of the panic selling you're seeing, you can tell that it's panic. It's not just people like, you know, packing cards and selling it. Look at all these Neymars that are being listed at 860K. You know, is this a fresh one here that somebody just packed? Yeah, first owner tradable. But like all of these cards, if you're searching at the 59th minute, all these listings that are coming up have chem styles on them, man. And that means it's panic selling. People are selling the cards that they're using in their teams. And that's just causing the market to go down more, right? I was, dude, this is the big one. Check this out. Uh, some of the record breakers got destroyed today. I thought this was a decent investment at 300,000 coins because of Sancho linking to the new... Um, Holland card that was going to come out today, right? Sancho is down 80,000 coins from 310 down to 230 at the moment right now. Absolute scenes. This is ridiculous. The amount this guy's dropped off today. Now, guys like Mbappe as well dropped off a bunch. Um, do I expect this stuff to rebound? I really don't expect a huge rebound out of it, man. I think that maybe if there's a small rebound into the morning today on Saturday, that's your opportunity to possibly get out on some of this stuff or even try to be risky and invest for that. I'm being risky right now at the moment. Um, but again, with this big content that's coming out, part, partially part of me is thinking also that some of the Icon SBCs, since we have had, we have had three Icon base Icon upgrades in the past couple of weeks, past like week and a half, that's also been draining some coins off the market. So I think people are doing that. Joao Felix, some of the SPCs that are coming out. I think it's just some of that combined with the Black Friday supply and also people knowing that last year the market went down a lot. And I think they're maybe trying to, they're selling now to try to get ahead of the curve. And that's pushing a lot of the stuff down on the market today too. But I've got some risky flips. I bought these Hollands at 305 around there, trying to flip those for, to see if I can get 320 to 330 this morning. Again, Right now, late night market time, two point whatever, 2.9 million live transfers. These cards are very, very supplied, but what you often see is late at night, when these cards start to get rare, they start to rebound because people invest in them, number one, and number two, uh, people wake up, you guys watching this video, when you're waking up in the morning, you guys are in the UK, you know, a lot of people, not saying you guys watch this video specifically, uh, but maybe some people are just waking up to play champs on a Saturday, you know, they want to try out some of the new cards. This Diego Carlos is 299,000 coins at the moment. He was 275 about two and a half hours ago, right? He's up 20, almost 30,000 coins right away. Kevin De Bruyne is up a lot. Sterling was 235. He's now 250. Uh, Teo Hernandez was 255. He's now 277. So a lot of these cards are rebounding and it's because they're getting rare. It's because they're getting rare and they're brand new cards and people still want to try them out and try them out in their teams because they're cheap. So I think this morning there's going to be an opportunity for the brand new guys, this new team of the group stage teams to reach kind of a, a point, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know what time I would say, maybe like early afternoon UK time. Uh, so, you know, probably three to four hours before the content drop, whatever time that is for you, you might see these guys kind of reach a peak. And then there's probably going to be some panic selling headed into the 6 p.m. time frame because people are going to start thinking about lightning rounds. People are going to start thinking about lightning rounds coming once again, and they're going to be scared of that supply. 
So I do think you are going to see more panic selling today on Saturday headed into 6 p.m. UK time. If there's not lightning rounds and if the content is really not that good, what you are going to see is a bounce back. We see this all the time on day two of promos. Rashford, Bruno Fernandez, Messi, KDB, and possibly, possibly um, Holland. The, the high tier, more, the rarest cards that are going to be in this, this new team of the group stage set. If there's enough panic selling and there's no content that comes out today on Saturday, what you will see is panic selling and then a quick rebound for an hour or two after that because everybody that panic sold needs to buy their cards back to finish off their weekend league game. So that is something you could see happen today as well. Be careful for that. But if you are trying to flip these cards, like I'll, I'll show you again on my transfer list right now, I've got three Hollands for around uh, three, 300K flat. 305 is where I got them. This one was at 303. And right now I believe Holland is 320. So I've got these listed a bit low. I'm going to try to get 335 or something like that overnight for me or in the morning for you guys. Uh, I think that these cards are going to bounce a little bit before the supply starts to kick back in uh, in the midday. So Flippin has him at 320. He's actually, you know, right around 320. I'm going to list this at 330. One more hour and then relist these. I'm trying to flip a Sancho because, dude, Sancho, so cheap, man. 228. Uh, I'm trying to do a little lazy list, 100K over just in case. Uh, I can get a lazy sale there, but uh, I'm probably going to try to sell the two Hollands in the morning. Same with the Sancho. So I've got a few Dumfries left and then some golds, man. I'm losing a little bit on these because the golds are getting absolutely destroyed right now. So I do think you might see a tiny bit of a, you know, uptick in the market today on Saturday um, in the morning and then probably more panic selling. It's just really, really hard to read where this stuff stops, right? Because it, it's going to be panic, panic, panic. But at some point, the panic always stops, right? Joao Felix's inform card, he was at 100K earlier. People were like, this is too low. They started buying it. And Joao Felix is now 90,000 coins. This is getting very cheap, right? This card's getting very cheap, still very good. This is less than one fourth of the cost of the SBC itself to do the 87 Joao Felix. This is crazy, right? This is wild, a huge drop off. I don't know, man. There is going to be a point where this stops and the panic selling stops and there is a rebound. But the question is, when is that point? It's going to be hard to figure out and it's going to be very hard to decipher. But a lot of that's going to depend on what happens today with Saturday content as well. Usually on Saturdays, you know what? We need some upgrade packs, EA Sports. You've put this, these kind of big name cards that are in packs right now. I would love, and I think the community would agree with this, I would love to see a little bit of a, a little upgrade pack frenzy, man. Send me into an upgrade. I would spend I would spend 100K doing some 81 plus packs for these cards. De Bruyne was 570 about two and a half hours ago. Now he's 610, rising into the morning UK time. Uh, so yeah, eSports, drop some upgrade packs. That would be another way you could possibly take some coins off the market from us if you really wanted to. So again, boys, this market is crazy right now. A lot of stuff is panic selling. A lot of stuff is dropping down a bunch in price. If you have stuff that you want to get out of, uh, my suggestion to you would be do it this morning on Saturday morning just to be safe. And then after that, we'll kind of reevaluate and reassess. But it's just kind of a crazy situation right now with that kind of stuff. Other problems uh, that happened today, other, I guess, things that came out in the game. David Beckham's mid and baby versions were released. And by, you know, the smart brains at ea sports they put the price caps at a million coins why what other icons are there other other icons in this game that have like price ranges that are um below a mil i guess there's a few of them but i don't understand why they made this beckham extinct at 1 million coins his price range is probably going to get updated here pretty soon he's going to sell for crazy high right after that because there's going to be a lot of hype and then he's going to drop down but i'm not sure why ea debuted their new icon today and didn't allow anybody to go out and uh, and buy that card. I think they just probably, again, what they usually do with promo cards when they try to make them extinct is to create more hype, tr uh, try to uh, make people overpay for those items. So again, Beckham's way overpriced right now. Just let him get packed. Let him get packed. Um, and then also, we had some new Conmy Bowl Man of the Match cards. Obviously, not super duper hyped up. Uh, but Carlos Tevez has got a special item that is out in packs right now. It is a man of the match for some of these economy bowls. Uh, 85K you're bidding on this. Interesting. The, this guy's basically going to be discard. Um, there's a couple other ones um, that are in this new man of the match set, but these cards like really aren't that incredible. If you're a huge, if you're a economy bowl 
or um, what is it again? Is it Sud Sudamerica? Sud Sudamericana. I think I was pronouncing it wrong in yesterday's video. I apologize. But if you're a fan of either of those two competitions, uh, you got some man of the match cards. So there's some stuff there for the um, those competitions, which is pretty dope. But again, the big story is just a market that is absolutely getting destroyed, man. So we're being risky with it, trying to flip a few of these cards into the morning. Hopefully we can make some profit. We made a little bit of profit yesterday. I flipped some gold cards. I cleared my sold list on accident. And then I've got this one to watch Partey because he is coming back, I believe, this week for the North London Derby. It's going to be a lot of eyes on that game this week. So ones to watch is, of course, today playing. Keep an eye on those. Um, and uh, keep keep an eye on these Team of Group Stage cards because they're getting pretty interesting as well. But uh, if you have icons, high tier cards, the safe way is probably just going to be getting it out this morning if some of that stuff is still high in price. Now, some stuff did rebound, right? We were talking about that Bruno 89. He got panic sold and then rebounded. I would get out while that's high as well, just to be safe. Um, we have qualifiers and an event that is today as well. That's the last thing I do want to mention. Here in the home screen, you can see it. There is uh, December 5th, South America, West Asia, and Europe, the first live qualifiers. I think that is how it's going down. So it looks like there might be even a possible 9 a.m. UK today, which won't be that long after I upload this video. Uh, you might see some stuff along uh, ability to get FGS player tokens. So you'll be able to get those tokens for the packs that they do release. But kind of a crazy day today, boys. Really good content from EA. Team of Group Sage, good cards and packs. SPC's objectives with Joao Felix is really good looking. Uh, we'll see what they drop today on Saturday. I don't have that high of expectations. Maybe a team of group stage um, player SPC for the um, Champions League instead of Europa League today. We'll see if that happens. Uh, yeah, could be a crazy day on foot. It might be a mellow day. We'll not. We'll see. But the market's going crazy. Uh, so if you have questions, drop them down below. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Have a good Saturday. Good luck in Weekend League. Catch you guys later. Peace out.